हेलो आई गुरमीत सिंह वेलकम यू टू द क्रिएटा क्लासेस एंड आल्सो वेलकम टू आवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन परम्यूटेशन इन दिस क्लास वी विल कवर अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द फैक्टोरियल नोट दैट दिस इज ओनली ए लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द परम्यूटेशन बट इफ यू वॉन्ट ए कम्प्लीट कोर्स और ए सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर ऑन परम्यूटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन एंड द प्रोबिलिटी रेफर द लिंक गिवन द डिस्क्रिप्शन वी आर हैविंग ए कम्प्लीट कोर्स यूजिंग द एनिमेशन एंड द विजुअल टूल the detail about this course we will cover at the end of this video so without taking any further time let's start with this lecture so best of luck the topic of the lecture is the concept of factorial so let's directly begin with the lecture this is the symbol of the factorial so what is an factorial factorial is basically multiplying all the whole numbers from the given number down to the number 1 for example if we take 3 factorial 3 factorial means multiplying all the number from 3 up to the number 1 that is 3 into 2 into 1 this is 3 factorial okay it is 6 3 into 2 into 1 it is 6 So three factorial is six. What will be four factorial? Four factorial will be multiplying all the number from the number four up to the number one. That is four into three into two into one. Okay, this is four factorial. Similarly, we can say five factorial is equal to five into four into three into two into one. Got it? What is factorial? factorial is basically multiplying all whole number from the given number down to the number 1 okay we can also talk in the reverse order that is multiplying all the whole number from the number 1 to the number whose factorial we have to calculate for example if we talk about 2 factorial it is 1 into 2 okay either we can say 2 into 1 or 1 into 2 both are same and 3 factorial we can say 3 factorial is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 4 factorial it is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 got it 5 factorial it will be 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 okay both are same just the different representation one is in the straight order and second is in the reverse order okay let's observe the factorial in further detail Let's take this factorial separately. Let's rearrange them. The five factorial that is equal to five into four into three into two into one. Here, can we replace this four into three into two into one with four factorial? Yes, we can do so. Four into three into two into one is basically four factorial. So we can rewrite five factorial as five into four factorial. Okay got it simple mathematics we have just rearranged the numbers similarly we can rewrite 4 factorial as 4 into 3 factorial got it how we have done so we have just replaced the 3 into 2 into 1 with 3 factorial okay similarly we can rewrite 5 factorial as 5 into 4 into 3 factorial okay we are just playing with the factorial here we have replaced 3 into 2 into 1 with 3 factorial okay similarly 5 factorial is also equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial okay we are just rearranging the numbers and we are playing with the factorial so that you can understand it in more detail okay factorial is nothing just it is basically the multiplying all the whole number from the given number down to the number 1 okay So let's calculate the value of some factorials which will be useful you in solving the mathematical questions okay what is one factorial it is 1 okay 1 into 1 1 what is two factorial it is 2 into 1 that is 2 what is three factorial it is 6 okay what is four factorial it is 24 what is five factorial okay that you have to solve just take your pen and paper and try to solve it what is 5 factorial okay i am just waiting for your reply
okay 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 120 if you know the 4 factorial you can easily calculate the 5 factorial as 5 into 4 factorial okay 4 factorial is 24 so we got 5 factorial as 5 into 24 that is 120 okay now what is 6 factorial 6 factorial will be equal to 6 into 5 factorial okay 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and this 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is basically 5 factorial that we know is equal to 120 so we got 6 factorial as 6 into 120 that is 720 okay got it so if you know the factorial of any value then you can calculate the factorial of the next number by just multiplying the next number with the factorial of the previous number okay these small observations will help you in solving the big questions do not be confused by these small numbers if you go deep into this factorial and some advanced question you will get the question in terms of n and r's it will not be limited to these small numbers like n factorial r factorial n minus r factorial all this we will cover as we move forward in the course of the lecture now a small question for you the value of 9 factorial is 362880 you have to calculate the value of 10 factorial and you are having only 15 seconds your time starts now okay the answer is 362880 okay this is the answer how we have calculated this we have multiplied the 10 factorial that is 10 with 9 factorial okay 10 into 9 factorial is basically 10 factorial and we know the value of 9 factorial that is given in the question so we have easily got the value of the 10 factorial okay let's move further these all are the values of 1 factorial to 6 factorial let's rearrange them in the reverse order how we have calculated the factorial we have just calculated the factorial by multiplying the number whose factorial we have to calculate with the factorial of the previous number in the reverse order we can calculate the factorial by using the division okay that is we can calculate 5 factorial by dividing the 6 factorial with the number 6 6 factorial it is 6 into 5 factorial so if we divide 6 factorial by the number 6 we will get 5 factorial okay similarly if we divide 5 factorial by the number 5 we will get 4 factorial okay similarly 4 factorial by the number 4 we got 3 factorial 3 factorial by 3 it is 2 factorial 2 factorial by 2 it is 1 factorial and 1 factorial by 1 it is 0 factorial okay the value of 0 factorial is basically 1 and this is the technique through which we calculate the value of the 0 factorial okay got the basics of this factorial just dividing the factorial number with the number itself we got the factorial value of the previous number so 1 factorial it is 1 so we got the value of 0 factorial as 1 factorial upon 1 that is 1 this is very important the value of 0 factorial is 1 this will be used all over the mathematics okay especially in the competitive exam so you should know it 0 factorial is 1 okay it is not 0 we can correlate this fundamental with the fundamentals of the power in the power like a power 0 it is 1 2 power 0 3 power 0 power of any number as 0 it is 1 we can correlate both of this fundamental the technique to derive the output in both the cases it is same 0 factorial it is 1 and a power 0 it is 1 okay just for the correlation purpose i have mentioned both the cases so let's move further to our topic let's take some questions and try to solve it okay the first question is 6 factorial upon 4 factorial here we have to solve it 6 factorial can we rewrite this 6 factorial as 6 into 5 into 4 factorial okay 6 factorial is basically 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and this term that is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is basically 
फोर फैक्टोरियल सो वी कैन राइट सिक्स फैक्टोरियल एज सिक्स इंटू फाइव इंटू फोर फैक्टोरियल सो फोर फैक्टोरियल एंड फोर फैक्टोरियल जस्ट कैंसल आउट वी गॉट द आंसर एज सिक्स इंटू फाइव दैट इज थर्टी ओके गॉट इट सिंपल क्वेश्चन लेट्स टेक वन मोर क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज सिक्स फैक्टोरियल माइनस फाइव फैक्टोरियल टेक योर टाइम पॉज द वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ओके लेट्स सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन कैन वी री राइट दिस सिक्स फैक्टोरियल एज सिक्स इंटू फाइव फैक्टोरियल ओके लेट्स टेक फाइव फैक्टोरियल कॉमन फ्रॉम दिस टर्म वी गॉट फाइव फैक्टोरियल इंटू सिक्स माइनस वन सो वी गॉट फाइव फैक्टोरियल इंटू फाइव एंड वी नो फाइव फैक्टोरियल इज वन ट्वेंटी सो वी गॉट अवर आंसर एज सिक्स हंड्रेड आर यू एबल टू ऑब्जर्व हाउ वी आर प्लेइंग विद दिस फैक्टोरियल If you know the basic fundamental of the factorial, you can easily solve all the question on the factorial. Okay, these are very simple concept, and this will be highly useful in solving other mathematical questions. Okay, let's take one more question. The question is twelve factorial upon ten factorial into two factorial. Okay, pause the video, take your time, and try to solve the question. so let's solve this question let's rewrite this 12 factorial as 12 into 11 into 10 factorial why we have done so so that 10 factorial and 10 factorial will cancel out with each other okay in the bottom portion we are having 10 factorial so by rewriting the 12 factorial as 12 into 11 into 10 factorial these two terms got cancel out so we got our answer as 66 okay Let's take one more question. The question is one upon eight factorial plus one upon nine factorial is equal to x upon ten factorial, and we have to find the value of x. Pause the video, take your time, and solve the question. So let's solve this question. Here, can we rewrite this nine factorial as nine into eight factorial, and this ten factorial as ten into nine into eight factorial? Okay. Why we have done so? Because this will cancel out all the eight factorial terms. Okay. All these three eight factorials will cancel out. Okay. If we take one upon eight factorial as common from this left hand side, both of these terms will cancel out. We got a simple equation. On solving, we got the value of x as Hundred, okay. I hope you are getting this fundamental. Let's move further and let's represent this factorial in the general term. Say n factorial, okay. We know what is factorial. Factorial is just the multiplication of all the whole number from the given number to the number one. So can we rewrite n factorial as n into n minus one? For the n minus two, n minus three, up to up to last up to three into two into one, okay, up to the number one. Don't be confused. What is this n minus one, n minus two, and this term? Basically, we are multiplying the number n with the next lower number. So, what will be the next lower number to the number n? It will be n minus one. Suppose n is five, then the next lowest number is five minus one, that is four. Then it is four minus one, that is three. Okay, so the next lower number to n it is n minus one. Then the next lower number to n minus one it is n minus two, and the sequence will keep on continuing till the number one. Okay. Similarly, what will be n minus one factorial? It will be n minus one into n minus two into n minus three, and it will keep on moving till the number one. Okay. Got these fundamentals? So we rewrite our n factorial as n into n minus one factorial. Okay, these complete term we can replace with n minus one factorial. This is very important. N factorial is n into n minus one factorial. Okay, or we can rewrite this as n into n minus one into n minus two factorial. Okay, n minus two factorial will be the rest of the terms. Further, we can also rewrite this as 
एन इंटू एन माइनस वन इंटू एन माइनस टू इंटू एन माइनस थ्री फैक्टोरियल ओके सिंपल गॉड द फंडामेंटल दिस इज बेसिकली द रोलिंग टेक्निक एस वी कीप ऑन रोलिंग द नंबर अवर टर्म्स विल कीप ऑन एक्सपेंडिंग बेसिकली द फर्स्ट टर्म इट इज एन फैक्टोरियल एंड इफ यू रोल इट आउट वी गॉट एन इंटू एन माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल If we further roll it out, we got n into n minus one into n minus two factorial. Okay, these are very helpful while solving the general question on permutation and combination. That in the detail we will see while dealing with permutation and combination. Okay, for the time being, just stick with the basic fundamental. That is this ruling technique. Okay, got it. So let's take some simple question. What will be the value of n plus one factorial upon n factorial? Okay. So let's see. Let's try to solve first n plus one factorial. So can we rewrite this n plus one factorial as n plus one into n factorial? Okay. We have just gone to the next lower number of the n plus one. That will be n plus one minus one. Okay. So n factorial and n factorial got cancel out. We got n plus one. That is the answer of this question. Let's take one more question. What will be the value of n minus one factorial upon n factorial? So let's see how to solve this question. Can we rewrite n factorial as n into n minus one factorial? Okay. Both of these terms will cancel out, and we will be remain with one by n. That is the answer of this question. Got it? So let's take one more question. The question is n plus two factorial upon n factorial. What will be the value of this? So this you have to solve it. Take your time. Pause the video and try to solve this question. Okay, let's solve this question. Can we rewrite this n plus two factorial as n plus two into n plus one into n factorial? Okay, what we have done, we have simply applied the fundamental of the factorial. The next lower term to n plus two will be n plus two minus one, that is n plus one. And further, the next lower term to n plus one will be n plus one minus one, that is n. Okay. And n factorial and n factorial got cancel out. We got our answer as n plus two into n plus one. Got it? That is the answer of the question. So, students, we have done with this lecture. We have covered all about the factorial. Further, the application of the factorial we will cover in the permutation and the combination formula. Okay? In the starting of the lecture, I have told you about a course on permutation, combination, and the probability. refer the link given in the description we are having a complete full fledged course on this topic with the help of the animation and the visual tool so take the benefit of the course by going to the link given in the description apart from this topic we are also having a full fledged course on trigonometry geometry segments of triangle and many more topics okay so that's it for this lecture best of luck and take care bye bye